Hi, how are you guys? I have missed you so much. I have some explaining to do. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been gone for a while and um, I'm sorry. I have missed you guys. I love you and I haven't abandoned you, I promise. It's been a crazy few months and um, yeah, I just have not been able to be on it when it comes to making YouTube videos, but I am here today. I have got some curly hair updos for you, including this one, which I'm sporting right now, which you can't see very well because the lighting's not great here. It's scorching, it's the hottest day of the year. Um, yes, I know it's not that scorching probably to many of you, but here in Scotland, we are not prepared for this weather. Our houses are designed to keep the heat in and not out. <laughs> so yeah, we are, we are boiling right now. So I knew I had to work today, but I just knew there was no way I wanted to be washing my hair and diffusing. And so today has been a um, practicing, filming different updos. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna collate the ones I've done today. I'm gonna collate them all in a video for you here. And um, I hope that you enjoy them. I'm sporting this little braided headband updo and I've got a claw clip at the back and I've just let the curls sort of hang loose. Let me know what you have been up to in the comments. Um, if you don't care what I've been up to, then skip forward a bit to the up to's, but I thought I'd give you a little life update while I'm here. So we had a crazy year of just sickness and I think a lot of people are finding the same. I don't know about you. Um, Covid seems to have just done a number on everybody's health and whether it's actually Covid that's affected their health or whether it's the vaccinations or whether it's just the fact that we were all locked in our houses for I don't know, a year, um, has messed with our immune systems. I don't know. But yeah, we've been, we've just had one thing after another. My husband ended up uh, being blue lighted to hospital a few weeks ago. Um, it turned out to be nothing serious, but it was scary. It turned out he had labyrinthitis, which is not something I'd heard of before. Um, it's to do with the inner ear, but he basically could not move his head off the floor. He was throwing up every time he moved. He was so dizzy, he couldn't even open his eyes. Um, and because he had kind of tingling in his hands, when I spoke to the doctor on the phone, they said, we're gonna have to get a stroke ruled out. So that was scary, they sent paramedics, they were amazing, took him to the hospital, but because COVID, I couldn't go with him, so I was just hanging around at home for a few hours waiting to hear. But he got home the same day and he's fine. He's, um, it's taken him, it took him a couple of weeks. He was off work just resting and laying down and he gradually felt better. Then um, after that, Elodie, who's my four-year-old, she got a nasty flu, high temperature, she was really poorly. Then I caught it and I was even worse. I have never had a temperature like that before. In fact, it was quite funny because I was just saying to Richard just before, I said, I just don't seem to get high temperatures when I'm sick. So yeah, the highest temperature I've ever had probably and it wouldn't go down even with paracetamol ibuprofen I was just sick in my bed for three days couldn't eat could barely even keep water down it was bad really bad anyway I'm not going to go on about it anymore but that is what has been happening here um, and that is one of the reasons I've been a bit MIA from YouTube so again I apologize but we're all doing way better now feeling much better it took me a while to sort of recover from that um, and get my voice back and, and not be dizzy and not feel tired but I am feeling much more normal now um, so without any further nonsense I'm going to show you the updos that I've filmed today so the first hairstyle is a really easy cute braided headband style and you basically put your hair in a middle part take a section from each side of the middle part and braid it just a plain braid plait whatever you call it um, just straight braid it and then tie it at the bottom and then do the same on the other side of your parting and then once you've tied the second braid off you basically swap them over to opposite sides and tuck them behind your ears and then you're going to get a couple of hair grips and just pin those in place either side like that. And then I always have to pull down my baby hairs to fill in that those corners of my forehead, give your hair a fluff. And that is it. So easy, but I think this looks absolutely adorable. Um, and the person on Instagram who I first saw this on, I will link, I will link all my inspiration basically in the description of the video. I think her name was Audrey Ann J, but I will link her. The next one is just a super quick ponytail boost. Really not that much to say about this other than stick a claw clip at the base of your ponytail and it gives your hair so much more volume. I mean, I know this is super simple, doesn't even really need an explanation, but boy, does it work. 
This one is so cute and all you need to do is make three low ponytails, split your hair into three. And then the outside two, you can have turned them in on themselves like a topsy tail towards your head, just the outside two. Then take one of your outside ponytails and pass the middle ponytail through the little kind of loop that's been made. And then take those two and put them through the third one. Does that make any sense? Hopefully you can see it. Pull it all out and that is you done. So cute. So this one, I apologize about the video quality. I had to sort of cut this down from a bigger video, but basically it's an easy bun hack and you're just taking those ends, twisting them and pinning them. Again, super simple. But I really, really liked how this came out. Um, I think I'll definitely be doing this one again. There we go. Always pulling my baby hairs down, as I said, and just loosening it as you want to. I really like this bun. So cute. So we have another braided hairband, but this time it's slightly more complicated. It is a type of French braid, but you basically only add hair to the French braid from your face side. You don't add any hair from the back side of the braid. So you just braid that whole front section, only adding hair from the face side until you get down bit probably to about your ear, maybe just, just above or just behind your ear. And uh, there we go. Just braiding away. I love braiding. Anyone else? I find it really quite therapeutic. There we go. And now I'm going to just add the last piece of hair to the braid and finish off the braid, tie it with a little elastic and pull, pull the, the, the little sections of the braid to make it look much fuller and plumper and just prettier. And then I'm kind of tucking it and pinning it up under my hair. And uh, I've used a claw clip to make just a wee simple claw clip updo at the back. But yeah, I love it. So guys, let me know in the comments if you're gonna try any of those updos, what you think of them. Um, if you see updos, like straight hair updos on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, feel free to tag me because um, it's fantastic when people do that and then I can try them out for you and see how they work on curly hair. Hope you were having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. That is a promise. Bye.